What up, y'all? DC Fago Guy. Today is April 6th. 14 years ago today, Dark Lotus released the Black Rain album. So as part of our 2017 year of reviews, we're going to be taking a look at it. That is the front. This is actually, uh, I actually got into Dark Lotus in 2007. Um, the two albums I got, obviously, Tales from Lotus Pod and Black Rain. And from there, you know, I was jumping back and forth between the two albums. This one called to me a little bit more with some of the tracks on it. And then ultimately, Tales from Lotus Pod just fucking took over. Um, great, great fucking album. Love the album cover. It fits exactly what the title is, Black Rain. Go ahead and take a look at the back. Oh, nothing on the back but this awesome image right here. We'll go ahead and take a look on the inside. You know, the first two Dark Lotus albums were notorious for being very, very mysterious. The first one, Tales from Lotus Pod, more so than this. Let's go ahead and take a look on the inside. There's the CDR, which actually has the tracks on it. So we'll go over that here in just a second. Pull this out. You got the fucking Lotus Cross right there with some lightning strikes and some black clouds. Hella dope. Let's take a look at... Let's go ahead and take a look at the book. Let's take a look at the book before we get into the tracks. Because like I said, Dark Lotus, the first two albums, notorious for just having mysteriousness to them, okay? That awesome scene of what looks to be like an Aztec empire. Take a look at the back of this little fold-out. That's what you got. Some awesome symbols here. Not a whole lot to it. So we'll go ahead and put that back. And take a look at the track list, which is Under the Lotus, Black Rain, Kaboom, That's Me, Consume Your Soul, She Was, Corrosion, My First Time, With the Lotus, Hell House, Jump Off, the walls, Dornell Dorothy, Pass the Axe, and Death Don't Want You. So, great fucking album. Um, favorite tracks Black Rain, Kaboom, Consume Your Soul, She Was, Corrosion, My First Time, Hell House, The Walls, Dornell Dorothy, Pass the Axe, Death Don't Want You. There's only a few songs on here that I actually skip. Not a big fan of That's Me, not a big fan of With the Lotus. Uh, Jump Off's okay, sometimes I skip it. Other than that, love the shit out of this album. Uh, you know, Consume Your Soul, She Was, Corrosion, and My First Time. Those were the dark tracks in this album that kind of pulled me towards Black Rain when I first discovered Dark Lotus. But, uh, you know, ultimately, that fucking Tales from Lotus pod, it took over, man. Absolutely dark album. Uh, I don't know why we keep talking about Tales from Lotus pod. This is all about Black Rain. Uh, there's really not much more to show, guys. That's really all I gotta say about the album. It's, it's, it's fucking Dark Lotus. There's a lot of people that'll say that this is, uh, not their favorite. I think some people have quoted this as being maybe their second or third favorite. For me, it's, 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 it's got a tie between Mudwater, Air, and Blood. Uh, Opaque Brotherhood's favorite, Tales from Lotus Pod, and then Mudwater, Air, and Blood, and Black Rain tie for my third favorite Dark Lotus album. It's dark, it's funny, it's got necrophilia in it. Who doesn't love that? Um, it's a great fucking album. I honestly, uh, I don't think this is available on Hatch Gear right now. So if you're wanting to pick this up, if you haven't heard it, I think you might be able to get it on iTunes. I probably should have checked that before I dropped this review, huh? Otherwise, hit it up on eBay or a Amazon. I'm sure you can find it there. Great fucking album. It's Dark Lotus, man. You just, Dark Lotus is... They've never, as of yet, and who knows what the future of Dark Lotus will be, as of right now, that's uncertain, but they have yet to drop a whack album. So, that is my re review for Black Rain. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.